Hi, I'm Ben McSheffrey, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Simmons Industries. Today we're going to talk about how to install the all-new IceMate IceMaker Supply Box from Simmons. Now this is a brand new product for us, and it's pretty cool. See what I did there? Now there's not much to installing an IceMate, so this video should go pretty quick. But there are definitely a few things worth mentioning, so stick around. To get started, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Inside the IceMate packaging you'll find one PVC IceMate box, one PVC trim plate, two metal mounting straps, and one brass quarter turn ball valve with lock nut. IceMate has two versions of the ball valve, one with an arrestor and one without. So you can choose which valve is best for your situation. Keep in mind that some cities and towns require an arrestor, so check your local code before ordering. Mounting the IceMate is so simple, you'll be kicking back with an ice cold drink in no time at all. Gener generally, IceMate is installed somewhere inside the wall behind the refrigerator that it's supplying. Now, mounting locations can vary, so the exact location of your ice mate should depend on a combination of two factors. One, access to the water piping source, and two, the particular refrigerator that's being installed. The goal of ice mate is to have a shutoff valve inside the wall so the fridge can be pushed all the way back to the wall for a clean installation. Usually, you'll mount it about 6 to 12 inches from the floor to feed an ice maker supply for a typical fridge. Ice mate has three ways it can be mounted. Within a stud bay, secure to a stud, or surface mounted. Let's head back to the studio and take a look. IceMate can be mounted within a standard 16 inch stud bay using the rigid metal straps. Just insert the metal straps through the slots on the top and bottom of the box, then position IceMate wherever you need it within the bay. The other mounting option is to secure IceMate directly to the side of a stud. For added strength, you can use the metal straps to span to the next stud. The last option is surface mounting. IceMate has molded standoffs on the back of the box so you can mount it to a flat surface. Now, most installations are in finished walls behind refrigerators, but you may have a unique situation where surface mounting could be helpful, like if you're feeding a water dispenser or coffee machine in a different situation. Like we said earlier, there are some things worth mentioning. Now, let's talk about the water supply valve. The IceMate's ball valve is half inch copper sweat by quarter inch compression, but there are options for PEX crimp and PEX cold expansion as well. To mount the valve, just knock out the knockout that works best for your location and use the lock nut to secure the valve to the box. You can mount the valve in any orientation that works best for you. Right side up, upside down, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't affect the function of the arresters either. So if your water line is above your box and you need to mount the valve upside down, go for it. Whoa. And like its cousin the laundromate, IceMate includes a paintable trim plate to finish off the job right. Once the finished wall is complete, just snap on the trim, attach your quarter inch supply line to the compression outlet, and start making ice. See? I told you installing IceMate would be quick. This is Ben McSheffrey, signing off from Simmons. What is this? It needs ice. It's an ice maker. Thanks for what? It doesn't matter what's in it. It just needs ice. Is there anyone else I can speak to? If you have any questions about IceMate, LaundryMate, or any other Simmons product, just give our technical support team a call at 1-800-SIMMONS.